Hello, I'm back. So today I want to talk about how to grind U Material Plus, and it's U Material as well, but U Material Plus, and how to prepare, how to optimize your run. Like myself, I do the lazy, the lazy version. <laughs> Let's show off a little bit. So I got like a lot of copies of the premium quartz. You can grind it infinitely if you want. I've gotten all of the strongest weapon. Okay, so so first thing first to grind. Uh, to grind in this game, first thing first. Switch your command battle difficulty to very easy so that you can one shot everything because this is we are trying to save time and to make the grind bearable. <clears throat> That's it. In terms of quartz layout. Okay. In terms of quartz layout, the idea is to have zero oh sorry not zero. Hundred percent casting time reduction, hundred percent EP cut. So what do I do is that you can pick whatever character you want. I use usually I use uh, reset and ren. Now they are gear up with their best in slot stuff, but whatever. <coughs> so basically, you can see the total. I think you can do it like straight away after post game because at least you have one copy of the uh, rare court. So I think you can do it straight away if you want to grind or if you want to take your time craft other stuff as well. Whatever, up to you. But I think it's possible to grind after the main game because you at least have one copy of most if not all of the rare quartz. So first this one is uh, casting time reduction 40% and then we use casting 2 we'll use cast casting 3 sorry casting 2 for some meme reason I put speed action 2 action 3 and then we go to EP. So EP cut 2, 20%. EP cut 3. And then this gold gem. Let's call it that. That's the main requirement. The rest you can put whatever. If you want some extra damage so that you can kill stuff. You can just stack mine 2, mine 3, mine or silver gem so mine true mine two mine three silver gem or if you want to do something else you can as well you can want if you want to put crit stuff if you want to put crit stuff you can put it if you want to put uh lin baum increase your delay but also increase your magic damage by 50 percent you can if you want to put lorelei increase your art crit rate by 50% you can again you should be you should have one copy of everything assuming you grind a little bit for the achievement that give you records you should technically speaking if you want Lorelei if you want Volglyph full HP increase magic damage by 50% if you want to okay that's fine that's good enough but well, I'll list down all of the stuff you need on uh, on the screen don't worry about it and then for um <clears throat> accessory to be honest i don't know the numbers because let's take a look okay before i i explain let's take a look the main part is you need to grind on floor 11 i'll show you why later so essentially for floor 11 you can see the clear bonus the first one is item drop rate 30 percent There, sir, I guess rumor. I don't think people test it out, but there's a rumor that people just again one of those things that people talk about, like oh, it's the the real thing, right? Where uh, if you exceed it 100% drop rate, it will be negative. If you get what I mean. So because we got the base 30% after the first clearance of floor 11, 30% plus 70%, you get 100%, right? But there's a rumor that if you stack, where is it? Yeah, this one. 
drop rate 90%, it will go to the negative. I cannot confirm. But for me, what I did was all of this setup. So uh, casting time reduction, speed, EP cut, and some other, you know, fancy stuff for most damage. I put this quartz, the first tier, the one with 30% drop. This one, this quartz, the first one, not the second one. This one, the second one is 50% because I want to make it like 100%. This is, I believe, good luck quartz. Again, I don't know the the term they will translate it to, but from Google Translate, this is good luck. The second tier is the 50% one is great luck for some reason. So good luck quartz, I put it, okay, good luck quartz. EP cut, I'll list it down on the screen. Whatever you wanted it to do. It depends on the character, because some characters have better elemental slots, some characters don't have good elemental slots, right? So I put, okay, so from... Quartz and accessories I have for drop rates. I have 30% drop rate plus 70% drop rate, that's 100. And I, I am ignoring the 30% from the clearance bonus. I don't know. Yeah, this is one of those things that people speculate, but we don't have enough data. We don't we don't have a like data miner or something. So anyway, whatever. Do what you want. Again doesn't matter you're gonna grind anyway so you can save some some time so let's go to floor 11 oh i forgot to talk about okay why floor 11 specifically spoiler so okay it is his post game don't worry about it so if you compare every floor you can see a lot of food for floor 10 not a lot floor 12 food some has your material big enemies have your material floor 13 food item mostly food same with floor 14 yeah blah blah i, I cannot show floor 16 so okay let's go to floor 11 floor 11 every enemies has at least your material but the one that you want to kill is bottom right level 72 the head specter thing You want to kill that thing. <clears throat> I think it's called Regina, guys. I believe. Let me confirm the name. Yeah, I think it's called Regina, guys. Or something like that. Let's call it the Spectral Head for now. Again, na the name. I don't want to open Google Translate at the moment. So Regina guys, let's use Regina guys, whatever, I don't care. It drops U material plus, and every other enemies has some U material drop. Even for the big enemies. So I think the drop rate is either one of those, sometimes two. That's what I've been told, I think. So what you want to do is... Go to floor 11. And here, you can basically pick and choose your stuff. You don't want to use the switch thing. You want to do the one with the sword icon, which is, you know, involving combat. But, uh, the one that I read is that Japanese players, again, contextually, I am Google translating and my method is a bit slower because I do the lazy method. For Japanese players, what they do is that they try to kill the big enemies the medium enemies so for floor 11 again i need to show you for floor 11 because every every floor you have like some kind of objective some objective you need to turn on switch some objective you need to break certain uh break the breakable object how many times you need and then you can get once you complete the objective for that chamber or that floor you can move to the other floor or sub floor so sometimes they they ask you to kill these two because the the one is the uh boss the boss for the that specific floor that the boss for the level sim the level 75 boss is the floor for floor 11 uh, the boss for the floor 11 floor what am i talking about so you need to kill the knight and the demon thing so essentially 
some JP players said only kill the spectral head Regina guys, whatever you want to call it. But again, I don't I don't want to open Google Translate Regina guys or whatever. Only if you if the objective is to kill medium sized enemies. But what I did was I keep resetting. Okay, first thing first, the my rule is that the objective is always to kill. So you need the sword icon on that bottom right uh, area data. So it must be a sword icon. Like this one is switch, no go. That's my like number one rule or the method I use. Number two is you keep resetting until the enemy lists. You see the ghost or the spectre head or the Reg Regina vice or whatever the name is at the first slot that's what i did yeah like this one but this one is switch i don't want to do it so i keep resetting no no go yeah this one but this one is switch reset again it doesn't take it, it will take a while a little bit it's rng again switch again okay this one do we have two enemies that has this the the regina guys or the spectral head as the first enemy on the enemy list so the the first rule is that must have the sword icon the second rule not second rule like the second thing you need to make make note of is have the spectral enemies as the first slot but this one doesn't count because this one i cannot use because it has it needs you to unlock not unlock turn on the switch like this one combat regina guys how to confirm it how go how to confirm that you will like get more of these spectral enemies to spawn so you can see at the map there are two types of like enemies how do you zoom in okay you can see the regular enemies with the red arrow and then the mark one so if you you want to make if you want to confirm that you are doing the right thing is that the spectral ghost is the mark enemies yeah the one close to us so that's how you can sure that okay the, we are at the right spot we are at the right we are uh, we are fulfilling the right condition why because when they are you can see the, the you can see how many on the field because other enemies drop you material as well but you kind of want to get the mode out of it so yeah so the second thing that you need to note is that that's when okay the first thing is when it comes to selecting which area you should go to so i'll uh, i put i already explained the 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 method the second is you know this oblong looking crystal so you can get some new material from this crystal sometimes you get item if you see this crystal available there will be a few throughout the floor but if you don't see them and you only see this thorny crystal just ignore it don't need to break it because you get a lot of s token throughout the main story just from grinding you will get a lot of s token so if you see this thing one you will have a lot throughout the floor if you don't see any of this oblong diamond crystal thing and you only have the thorny crystal like that one just ignore it just to speed things up so essentially what you want to do is break this thing okay let's do interval so what i did was i fulfilled the two condition which is the mark enemies is the spectral hit and just to make things faster or just to make things a lot easier i i will usually break only the big thing the the oblong crystal and then what i did was just speed run it i think you can do it in like three minutes if you don't if you don't like i did what i did was i don't skip animation so the routine is that kill enemies you can kill everything like i usually kill everything because why not uh don't if you want to break this thing you can but i i want the same sometime so i only break this thing because sometimes yeah, see you get your material so what i did was 
run around, kill everything in one shot. So, and then you can repeat, right? Because you can also get you uh, as a shark token from the oblong crystal. The Tony crystal doesn't give you item; it only gives you as token. <clears throat> so, don't want to waste your time. So, run around, kill everything. I don't recommend triggering off feather or cathartic game because. It's time, you know, because you you don't have my CP, my my EP is still full because I have like hundred percent, hundred percent uh EP discount. See, my EP cost is zero. You don't have to boost yourself, you know. You don't have to abuse normal core or whatever. Just lower the difficulty to very easy. Break everything. Yeah, you will fulfill the condition. Don't need to go to the other floor. So, break the oblong crystal. Crystal, kill the enemies in one shot. Run around, break everything. And then, yeah, just do it until you have enough. Usually, one. I do it in like one hour. Every every hour, I get like two black steel ball. Not two, sorry. Every hour I got about 20 to 30 black steel ball. Again, it depends on the drop rate because some enemies drop item and stuff. So, it depends on the drop rate of the enemies, but usually without animation skipping, I get about 20 to 30. But, what you can do is that you can just increase the speed if you want to make things faster. Increase the speed to maximum. Increase the speed to maximum and you skip animation as well. You can cut down your run. So let's say you limit yourself one, one hour per like a whole run. You can get more. I think JP players show a video that you can get like 60 if you skip animation. Like, like if you skip this animation, you can save a lot of time. But I, I was lazy because I was like listening to podcasts or like a seven hour video in the background so I just I don't skip animation I just let it run but if you skip animation you will save a lot of time but with my method the lazy method I call it uh, you can get 20 to 30 which is not bad considering I need to farm like over 500 not over 500 it's about 4 450 or something so it's it depends if you have the time you don't have the time whatever up to you your preference I guess you don't need to boost, but uh, you know, I am creature. Uh, just a habit, muscle memory. Where am I going? I think you can finish it in like 20, three to five minutes, depending on whether you break. You have this crystal or not. If you have it, you break it. If you don't have it. Just ignore the Tony Crystal. Again, this is lazy method. If you skip the animation, you you can get it infinitely. That's you material. Yep, that's a lot. Uh, I think it, you will easily understand the layout. You will easily once you do it like one run, you can. After the second and third run, you can easily memorize oh which spot has the uh, crystal, so you don't really have to like run around blind. Pick a pattern, you know, like we start from here. I go here. Look at the mini map. Like make your own route, I guess. So follow your own route. One shot everything. Break the crystal if you want. It's fine if you don't miss it because sometimes it doesn't drop you material. So like I start from down here and then I go up, make around here, and then I go left hand side, make all the way around. And I go here. So make your own route. Do you material? Uh, grind the hell out of it. Speed up, whatever. Anyway, that's essentially how I did it. Up to you. 
I think again roughly the way I did was I got about 20 to 30 per an, uh, about an hour but again that's the lazy method if you are like don't want to grind or don't want to take a long time just skip the animation you can get in like an hour you can get like 60 that will save a lot of time but again I am lazy so whatever so anyways that's how you grind your material plus so that you can get your Kurotama steel or black steel ball or black Zamorian ore or astral steel whatever you want to call it so anyways I hope you under you, yeah, I hope you get something out of this it's a bit long I guess because I tried to list down all the stuff that you might need in terms of the character you need to use it's up to you you can use Elaine you can use whoever you want personally but I don't want to switch out everyone because you up to you I guess it depends because you don't really need like a good gear because you play on very easy difficulty so you will one shot everything oh even like my to be fair my character is like level 122 but you can start at level 70 plus basically if you are within the the level curve of the the floor which is level 71 75 you can do it don't worry about it anyways you only need like one single character so the other character can just sit and just you know get exp that's why i get like 100 level 122 125 <laughs> because i keep using them so anyways uh thanks for watching i hope you help uh bye